first disaster of the day, it's stuck. This is theoretically the very first thing that actually was brought into the Reptarium. Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to the vlog. It's a little after six in the morning and guess what? Less than two hours till the cages for the Reptarium show up. That's right, today is the day, it's the install. We've been waiting this forever. I'm actually heading to go pick up Stuart from his hotel. Everyone is gonna be at the shop. We have a ton of people that are coming in to help out. So it's gonna be an amazing day. You guys as excited as I am? Let's go ahead and hit the road and get over to the Reptarium. I'm en route to the shop again, picking up Stuart. I'll be honest with you, uh, most of the nervousness is gone that was there yesterday and now it's just kind of been replaced with excitement, you know? It's happening. I mean, it's been such a long road. It's gonna look a lot different at the end of the day today. Again, I'm sure there'll be some little hiccups here and there, but I think things are gonna go good. It's gonna be amazing, so uh, heading over to the Reptarium. Again, at the end of the day, we're gonna at least start to get an idea what the place is gonna look like. Next four days, we're installing and kind of building things out and fixing up. All right, so I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Oh my God. All right, so the place is about to look a lot different. Uh, everyone is starting to show up. Stuart, of course, is laying stuff out over here. He's the mastermind behind things. Everyone else is showing up. Truck is not here yet. Uh, hopefully, it'll be here soon. We got to get the window out, the truck here, and then we start to load in, and then uh, cages start going in. So. It's starting to get real. Oh my gosh, guys, it's exciting. The truck showed up. And I tell you what, I was getting worried. It's like five minutes to eight. They're supposed to be at eight. I'm like, is this gonna be late? I'm thinking, what if they don't show up till like noon or something like that? But the truck is here. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. We actually have two trucks coming today. One right now, and then one in a couple hours. Think about that. That truck is full of reptarium enclosures. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Oh, it's the first one. Oh, you got the first one. <laughs> We're supposed to get all the small tanks first, and the other truck showed up first. So uh, that's a little bit of a trip. Oh my gosh. But here it is, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that big tank, Stuart. Oh my god. They give us all good. The run good. Oh gosh. So the big tanks, I, I don't know what we're going to do, but these were supposed to come in in a couple hours. So oh, we'll do what we have to do. This is actually Bowser's tank right here. Oh my gosh, it's gonna look so good. First disaster of the day, I had parked the Hilo back here overnight and it's stuck. It's sunk in the dirt and we can't get the Hilo out. <sighs> what in the world? We'll get her. The Hilo stuck. Made a little rig. Let's see if this works. It's moving. So the first little casualty, I'm kind of bummed out. This is that really big cage that has the water feature, but uh, we've got chip glass up here. So this piece of glass was like $1,500. So I'm definitely pretty bummed that that's shipped. I, I'm gonna have to deal with that later. I knew there's gonna be issues, so uh, it's not that big of a surprise, but for now, I just have to leave that and continue to unload these trucks. And just to give you guys an idea, all this stuff here is basically you know, bits and pieces that will eventually go up on walls and enclosures and stuff like that. So a uh, lot of unloading and then we'll start to actually install. So I'm sure we have probably another hour of unloading before we even start to think about installing. With that in mind, the window is still here. The guy was supposed to be here a half an hour ago to take our window out. So uh, that's the one thing I'm a little concerned about right now, but hopefully he'll show up soon. So this just gives you an idea. This is actually the gator tank right here that we spoke about, you know, so the, the gators will actually have a water feature right here and then land mass on this side. So this is theoretically the very first thing that actually was brought into the reptarium. So uh, it has begun. 
we have one truck unloaded, one truck to go. Basically what's gonna happen, this truck is gonna move out of here, this truck's gonna move into place and then we'll unload all of this truck. This has all of the six by eight cages as well as all the four by four and six by four stuff. So there's a whole truck full of nothing but cages, but you can see we're making quite a mess out here. Next little wrinkle as we're unloading is the fact that this window is actually just like a pane glass. Well, code is that it needs to be safety glass. So the guy that's gonna take the window out said that there's a chance that he can't take it out without replacing it with safety glass, which is about 2,000 extra dollars. Uh, he's calling his boss. Hopefully they'll just say, all right, we're gonna do it. But uh, definitely a little bit of a concern because I wasn't expecting that. All right, so good news. It turned out that it actually was safety glass, so it didn't cost me a couple thousand dollars. The window is out. Uh, we can now start loading in here, so cages are about to go inside. All right guys, so the first uh, stack of enclosures, so now we just gotta finish out the rest of this wall, and the place is filling up. Hey everybody! These guys are all awesome to come help. Thank you guys so much, you guys are awesome. I tell you what, guys, this is definitely controlled chaos. I mean, look at all the stuff that's all over the place. These are water bowls and cliffs, all kinds of stuff. We still have cages like all over here. We have rock walls over here. We got tons of people. Look at all these people going on. It is absolutely crazy times. Oh. Getting together though. And then this is the base of the first aisle right here. All along here. So we have to put cages on top of course. And then we'll start working on the other wall with the really big cages. Then ultimately we'll get the, the big pond in here. So uh, still a lot of work to do. So we literally have the entire first aisle in here. You guys are starting to get an idea of what it's going to look like. And again, these fronts are going to be covered with cool stuff. As a matter of fact, this is an idea of what's going to go in between the cages. You can kind of see there's like that timber. There'll be like things like that, all kinds of other stuff. But we have this whole first aisle set in. Now we're going to go to the other side that is actually bigger cages. Uh, and then ultimately we're going to come in and put the pond in. And then lastly, probably more like tomorrow, we'll start working on the middle. And of course we have the gator tank over here. So uh, we're making a lot of progress. This is awesome. Here. I mean, people are killing it. I mean, I'm so lucky. I'm just walking around with the camera. Look at these guys working their butts off. <laughs> I think it was five out of ten. Five out of ten. <laughs> 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 the, meeting. the meeting didn't help. We need to. We need to go back to the drawing board on that. Oh my gosh! And that's how we're putting this place together.
as we're kind of wrapping up getting the things in, we still have a lot of kind of design work that Stuart and I are kind of going through for the middle. We got Bowser's enclosures right here. There's actually going to be waterfalls over here. You can kind of see how it's coming together a little bit. Of course, the big cage is over here. We're starting to work on the center ones over here. Uh, again, just kind of down the road here. There's just so much going on. Definitely a lot more work to kind of figure out. This is going to be the little gator tank right here. There'll be glass sliders here. You'll be able to see the land feature on this side, the land feature on this side. The wall will be built in here. So things are definitely coming together. We're kind of winding down the day. We got a lot accomplished. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, how it's coming together. Are you excited about it? Do you think it's awesome? Do you think that we should do something different? Let me know, whatever the case is. I figure we still have at least a couple more hours of working in here. Over the next probably three to four days, you're going to see a huge transformation. But there it is, guys. It's actually starting to look like a reptile zoo. Of course, Jen, my friend, came in from Chicago. You guys remember her. She's been around a bunch. And Kelsey has uh, got shirts that match here. Jen is my spirit animal. Kelsey is my spirit. What, what's up with this? I got them made because we needed them. We're besties. <laughs> it's a thing that needed it's to happen. It's a bestie shirt. It's a bestie shirt that needed to happen. Yeah, so anyways, uh, we moved a lot of cages in, but that happened too. And as we're wrapping up the first day of the kind of install of the Reptarium, I'll be honest with you, it's a little surreal to me, to be totally honest with you. I mean, I can't believe we're actually here and you guys can see that things are starting to come together. Listen, it's still a wreck over here. We've got rock panel over here. We've got stuff over there. We've got cages all over the place. Trees aren't quite set. I mean, we have a long way to go, but you're starting to get the feel like it's starting to come to life and that is pretty exciting and I cannot tell you how over the top happy I am right now. I mean, my dream truly is coming true and I can't thank everyone that came out and helped me. I mean, it was unbelievably heartwarming. So I hope that you guys enjoyed day one of the build. You guys are going to get about three more days of this so i hope it's good we'll go next door and definitely check out some animals over the next couple days here it is guys the reptarium i hope that you guys will come and visit me and again september 14th is probably going to be the open if nothing goes wrong but we have to wait to see how that goes you guys have an absolutely amazing day evening whenever you happen to be watching truly your support means the world to me and without that support this wouldn't be possible, so I love you guys so much. Do me a couple favors before we get out of here. Can you smash that like button? Turn those post notifications on. Again, make a comment because I like reading about you guys. Be kind to someone, and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.